Alright, hello guys. It's another unboxing video. I've got a new console come, uh, that's come today. You can probably hear that and see if on the thumbnail. Um, I'll probably put it in the title what console it is and all that. It's not a new one, it's a, a retro one. I love a bit of retro. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. Right, just flip that round. There it is. Lovely box. Um, I have already opened this because I did film this already this morning and it would just look really shitty to film and record and all that. Bollocks. I thought, oh no, I'll redo it. Yeah, as you can probably see over there, see if I can zoom in a bit. There's a lot of, uh, pre if you're in the UK, Premier Shop leaflet type things that come with it. Should have kept them, put them on my wall. But yeah, <laughs> very well packaged from the bloke, wherever this come from. Um, but yeah, let's open this, shall we? Oh, and also, some of the things in there come in these. So if anyone's got a cat, <laughs> what I'm saying is anyone's got a cat, there was no fucking, no food in it, <laughs> just the boxes. Quite innovative, quite innovative I think, you know, I am's, lovely. He's fed his cat well, this guy. But yeah, here we go, this is the console. Oh, take that out, sorry about that. It is that, look at that. It is a Philips Video Pack G7000, um, and you're probably thinking, what the fuck is that? But if you're American, any American viewers, this is the Magnavox Odyssey 2. Um, yeah, the Magnavox Odyssey, I think it came out before the 2600. Yes, I think it did. And, well, it obviously didn't do as well as the 2600, but apparently, I was watching Steve Benway's video on this, which is quite sad, really. The guy that was making, made this you know, for Philips, and in this country. Apparently it was just one bloke on his own making the games and that. Which is quite sad. And he'd done all that on his own. Made a few games, and apparently the system was more was powerful. I can't think of the word. More powerful than the 2600? Powerful is not a word, is it? It had more... You know, it had more in it than the 2600, but it just failed. Which is really sad. But as you can see here, it's got a numeric pad on it. For uh, guessing mass games and a little keyboard for other games, I'm guessing. Quite a thing in the uh, early uh, late 70s, early 80s. The controllers had uh, keypads on them a lot, and there was a lot of this type of thing, you know. Um, let's get into the controller. Um, no, actually, what I'll do is I'll get it out to show you. This might be a bit noisy, but it's not that heavy. I think the 2600 is quite heavy. Uh, there's the back, it's got a couple of vents, controller, controller port, cartridge port. Um, yeah, I will put it back in actually, that's going to be quite a faff. Um, here's the controller. Two seconds, let me just get this out. Oh, it's this, it's got a nice little joystick and a f action. Action, Ooh. get the camera in there. Action, because that's the fire and all that. Um, in my opinion, first hand just playing around with it. I think this feels better than the Atari. You know, I got a 2600 and the 2600 controllers. I'm not sure if it's just my controller is a bit battered, but the joystick feels a lot more responsive and a lot, just a lot better. Um, yeah, that's that. Um, it's got a nice little plug. Plugs from the early 80s, 70s are quite heavy. This one is the same, but this one is quite different because normally they just come with a massive, you know, like a massive plug. But this one comes with a battery pack in the middle, which is quite interesting. As you can see, official Philips. Uh, and that's about it, I think. Oh, and um, you've got the RF. Is it RF in this country? I'm not sure. I think it's RF. In America, uh, what's it? It's like video out or something, bollocks like that. In America, you'd have to buy a coaxial for this to work on, like, modern tellies and all that, but... You know, this I might this telly he might work on that. Um, this cost twenty pounds off eBay. The guy did list it as not working, and we're well, not sure if that's true because it it was listed as not working because he didn't know he didn't have anything to test it with, like no games or anything. So it probably it well, I'm saying probably it might work. We'll have to test it out, and I'll show you guys later if it does work. We do have a game. This didn't come in this this package. I bought this separately. It is 
bowling and basketball. Philips Video Pack Game 6. Now, I'm not so I think this is the official the official case, but I think this is lovely. Look at that, you just lift, lift that up, and you've got the cartridge. Lovely stuff. The cartridge come with a uh, little handle so you can pull it out the console. This is quite in, uh, quite good, I think, because the Atari's and um, you know over there. Zoom a bit. You got the SNES and the Mega Drive. You have to pull the cartridge out. I know the SNES had an ejector thing on it, but on all the others you have to pull the cartridge out, which is not that good because it could damage it. I think, but yeah, it just goes in here like that, and then you just pull it out. Like it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Get that back in there, but yeah, this is the that is the Philips Video Pack computer. I oh, let me just. I think it's nineteen seventy seven. It came out in this country, in the UK, in Europe. Not sure about the states. It might be a bit earlier, but yeah, I'm relatively. I'm really happy with this. Um, on the back, let's get this up. I should have showed you the back earlier, but hey ho. Um, that one there. Is for the controller, and that one's for the controller. They were hard wired in, which is not that good because if they break, you have to take the whole thing apart and rewire new controllers. With the Atari, they were detachable, and you could also use a Gen uh, Genesis Mega Drive uh, controller for that, which was quite good. You know, I'm, I'm really not a fan of these, but that's what they did in the 70s. Uh, and this one is for the TV out, you know, and there, if it couldn't, where's the light? There. There is that is for the plug. Look at that hidden away. I'm quite happy with this purchase. Twenty quid, you know. There, there was others on eBay. There was one in the box that was still in the auction. I think it ended yesterday. I was looking at it, but I got this one instead, just in case, you know, if it works. And that's a steal, I think, for twenty quid. Absolute bargain. But yeah, thanks for watching this part of the video. I will try and hook it up to this TV now. If it works, great. If it doesn't, ah, it's you know twenty quid. 20 quid in it but yeah thank you right it's working it is fucking working um i did you know my setup says not work but i had to come downstairs because parents yes i'm 23 still living with my parents select game i'll i have to play this one-handed because i'm uh sort of where's the uh, not sure how to do this is it enter there we go Right, this is basketball. You know, none, none of this NBA shit. This is what basketball looks like. You could throw it up there into the wrong hoop. Oh. And I guess another point, yeah. <laughs> this is this is what gaming was like in the night in the nineteen seventies. Great sounds, by the way. Great sounds. Right, let's uh, let's have a look at the bowling. Shall we? You can't see that. Keep it on that screen. Hit clear. Enter. Look at that. I should have that. Hang on. BRB lads. BRB. Uh, something was dropped on the floor. I don't know what it was. Yep, this is bowling. None of your Wii Sports. This is bowling. I guess you just press it. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, I didn't get, didn't get a spare. Couldn't get a spare. Gutted. Absolutely gutted, lads. See, this is how far we've come. Oh, I think it's... By the looks of it, I couldn't even get a spit. By the looks of it, I think it's impossible to get a strike. <laughs> you know the way the ball goes and all that. I think it's impossible. But yeah, this is, that is the Philips Video Pack. Absolutely quality system, in my opinion. I'm so glad it works. So glad. You know, twenty quid well spent. I think I'm going to buy some more games for it. You know, because they seem to be relatively cheap on the old eBay. But yeah, thanks for watching. That is. I'm, I'm so happy with that. Thank you.